Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with Build Box, and in this video, I'm going to show you something cool that I think you should all incorporate into one of your games at some point. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now, I've got a basic main menu set up here, and I've got a level one and level two. And this is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video: is I'm going to show you how to lock up like level two to make it so that you can't get to level two without beating level one. And I'm going to show you that once you beat level one, it's going to have a little star on there saying, hey, I beat this level. So let me just go ahead and show you. So you collect five coins or five little stars, and then that's how you beat the level. All right, and there you go. I have a little green star or a little green icon for the level one, and I have a little golden star, and you can see that level two is unlocked now. Now I can actually go to level two, and whoa, level two is way harder. Okay, cool. So anyways, that's what we're gonna be showing you how to do in this video, so let's do it. All right, so main menu, okay? First thing you're gonna wanna do is I would set up level one, all right? Just basic, level one is a navigation button, all right? It's uh, super, super easy. You just go over here to buttons and you go to navigation button, you drop it in, okay? And then you throw on an image, all right? And then at that point, you just keep the function as default and then you can hook it up here. You can see that I've got level one and I'll zoom in here so you can see this a little better. I've got level one right here and it's hooked up to the world one, world which I named level one. All right, now, how do you get the little green icon to play after you've beaten level one? All right, so what you do is you layer a lock button right on top of your original navigation button, okay? So this one is going to just have your basic image, all right, it's just going to, for this is for level one, all right? You're going to just have your, whatever image you wanna show that says that you've completed the level, all right? Now, for me, I use this little green icon with a little star, it's no big deal, but you use a lock button and you just use just the image. You don't use locked image or any of that business, okay? And to find out where a lock button is, you just go over here to buttons and you go to lock button. You drag it in and you lay it right on top and you make sure that the image size is exactly the same so that when you complete the level, it's gonna show up right on top. It's gonna layer right on top and it's gonna look beautiful. All right, now, the other thing is you wanna just keep all this stuff really basic, okay? You wanna keep the function as default, unlock. You don't touch anything else other than just putting in the image, all right? Now, let me uh, also show you one more thing before I show you how to hook it up with your mind map and your world UIs. All right, the other one I'm gonna show you is the other lock button, which is level two. All right, now this one, you do have two images for it, okay? This one, you have a little locked image there, and that has a little uh, locked icon on there, and then you've got your regular level two a button on there as well. And then if you'd like to layer on like a green uh, icon to say that you've beaten level two, you can do that as well, but just use your um, your regular lock button, all right? Or re I'm sorry, use your uh, a lock button, but don't use two images. Just use the one single image like I was showing you before, like with this one, same setup, but you do it for level two, all right, if, you, if you're following me. Okay, so now I've got level one, level two uh, hooked up here. You can see that I've got this locked image set up. And uh, this is, it's just, it's very, very basic. You've got it, the function default and default. You don't really do anything other than adding the images. Okay, now we've got that all taken care of within the main menu UI. Now, we, now here comes a little bit of tricks, okay? So for level one, uh, I should just show you this real quick. I added in a couple stars to serve as coins in the game. Uh, you can see them here, kind of spread out here, and that's how I'm going to beat level one. But you can have the way that your your player beats level one any way you want. Distance, points, uh, coins, whatever you want to do. Okay, uh, but I use coins, and I use stars to signify them. Now, in the world UI, okay, um, the main thing you wanna have is I've got one unlock here and this is a logic piece. So you just go over here to logic and you go to unlock, all right? And you drag and unlock. And then what I've got is the unlock type is set to unlock button, okay? I have it set to unlock button and then you choose the button that you wanna unlock. It's that easy. So I want to unlock the level one completed. Hi. Hello. Hey, um, I'm recording a video real quick, so um, just do what you gotta do. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, level one, uh, and so then you've got level one completed there, all right? And you can unlock that. Now, the other thing that you wanna unlock here 
is the other thing is you want to unlock level two. This allows the player to not only see that they've beaten level one, but this is also going to make it so that they can go to level two and take on the next world. All right, and then finally, you have to add in one more event observer. And right here, uh, that's the same, lo another logic piece. You just throw that in right here. And then this is how you set up how the world is actually completed, how the player is gonna complete this level. All right, and so I've got it set to event type as session coins, and then session total is five. So you beat five coins, it sends you right back to uh, the main menu, and then all of the other things are unlocked. Okay, so let me show you that one more time. So over here, I've got that set to win game, all right, that event observer that says I've collected five coins and that's a win game. It's gonna send me right back here and it's gonna unlock both level one completed, that image, and it's gonna unlock level two, okay? And so, and so um, it's, it works out great. Now, if I press play, and I'll go ahead and show you this real fast, um, if I beat level one, this is also important. I'll collect the five coins, easy peasy, okay? But I can also play level one again, all right? I make it, I hook level one completed back to level one, and this is great if you want people to try to beat their high scores, and there's ways to show that um, you can have like one star, two star, or three stars, depending on how well they've done in your game. Like you could have a time limit and however many coins they get, they that makes it so that they um, beat the level, right? And they get the three stars. And then you have each one unlocked by a certain amount of coins or stars or, what, or whatever you have set up, probably a certain amount of coins or points, okay? So that's the basic setup for this. Um, I hope you thought this was useful. Please shoot me any questions that you've got and I'm gonna make sure I've got a download link for you here in the description. And if you thought this video was useful and you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right, thanks everybody. See ya. Like and subscribe.